This is the SD SpaceX Falcon 9 model. Uh, we're going to launch it today. The way that you insert the motor, first you take out the decorative uh, Merlin motors and exposing the motor tube. We're going to take a C63 motor, insert it into the tube, and then attach the fins on top, twisting it to lock it in place. And we're going to take out the parachute and add some wadding. When you buy motors, sometimes they come with wadding, sometimes they do not. You just take a sheet of wadding. This is two, it's very thin. And uh, crumple them up and insert them into the body tube. And this will protect your parachute. So a rocket like this, I'm probably going to do about seven sheets of wadding. There's four. Seven. This is flame resistant. It's also biodegradable. So if you don't manage to pick it up, it will degrade over time. It's actually just toilet paper that's been treated with flame resistant material. To prepare the parachute, we always open them up and ensure that there's no tangles in the lines. You can squeeze all of the air out and make a point. You can do a Z fold where you fold it in thirds. But for this rocket, I'm just going to fold it in half. And I squeeze and compress all of the air out of there. And then to roll, you, what you don't want to do is just roll it by hand, because that in, uh, inserts a twist into the lines. So you can start it that way, but then simply roll the parachute so that there's no twist in your lines. Insert the shock cord. Follow it up with your parachute. Put on the nose cone. Make sure there's nothing pinched in there. It's a snug fit. Now the igniter. The igniters will come typically two igniters tied together or taped together. Simply tear it in half so now you've got an individual igniter. This is inserted into the motor. I like to look to see where the, the launch lugs are and I don't want the leads to be in that direction. I want them away from that. So my launch lugs are right here. So I'm going to insert this so that the leads are pointing away from the launch lugs. You take one of the caps that come with the motor, you're going to insert it in here. The, the leads are separated. If they happen to touch, you will short out your motor and you will not go off the pad. So when you insert the plug, you want to make sure that you're not squeezing the two leads together, but rather forcing them apart. Very carefully seat that, press them down, fold it to the side, and then separate the two ends. Now this is ready to go onto the launch pad and ready to launch. Much better trajectory Much better. this time. Very nice.